back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at moving the origin point of families, which is kind of interesting and it's very unique and it's not something you're going to have to do all the time, but it's useful to know how to do it if and when you need to. So if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, which let's be honest, why are you here? Please demolish that like button. It really helps me out. It really does. And I appreciate all who have. All right, getting into it. So I'm in just a, a basic project it's a house floor plan we're looking at some specific objects here and this came up in the office yesterday and a guy was using dynamo was trying to place some elements around and we needed to end up rotating those elements and if you're familiar with the way rotation and things like that work um, it's based on a family's location it's based on its i guess you could call it origin point because in a sense everything has an origin we we're familiar with the revit internal origin point we can find that within the site and then internal origin point and base point all that so it exists it's a coordinate system it's, it exists within families and so maybe you want to change that because it may or may not be where you want it located on the object so um, i'm actually going to pull up dynamo and we're going to run through dynamo and we will see what we can do with Dynamo as far as locating things. And so all I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this very simple. And this is not a Dynamo tutorial by any means, but I want to show you what we're working with. And so what I'm going to do is come up here and search all elements. And all I do is I want all the elements in the active view, which means it's going to give me everything. In this case, I have 161 of them. Okay. And then I want to actually get location. So like there's a location, get location of element. And so this is going to take all the elements and give me the location. And so if I even zoom out here in Dynamo, we can see that, you know, it has essentially located all my elements, even in 3D, which is really nice. Don't care about that so much, but what we do care about is these origin points. I guess from here on out, I'm going to call it the origin point of an object. And so this is really important. Uh, so it's not even this that's important anymore. It's really all of this that we see. And it's not even this over here at Dynamo. It's over here in Revit. And so I'm gonna minimize that and we can see when I zoom in that let's use this chair for example. If I were to just press spacebar, you could see that it rotates and it rotates about that specific point, the point in which we have received from Dynamo, the location point, wherever it is here, it's populating in Revit as well. That's the important part. And so my guess is, and actually I, I know this, whenever we go into the family, we're going to see that the origin is located at that the, the back of the chair. And so there might be an instance where you decide, well, um, I am going to do some rotating. I'm going to do some rotating dynamo. I'm going to do some rotating, whatever, Revit, or it doesn't matter. But I want that location moved because whenever I rotate it, I want it to just rotate in the center or wherever it is. Um, the same would apply to these lamps. You know, it happens to be the center for these lamps, as you can see, it's working well. But what I want to do is go into this chair family, and we can start to see where this origin is. And so, obviously, I see nothing here until I go into the reference level view. And so I can see it here, and, you know, there's a, not a, a huge indication as to where it should be or is, uh, but I can tell you right now how we can find that. So uh, it has everything to do with the reference planes because those are required in any family and you'll notice whenever it, getting back to this in just a second if i go to new family and then i'm just going to make a ge generic model nothing all that fantastic but if i come down to generic model we can see that what we get is just two reference planes and let me look at this this is it's two that's it that's all it is and so whenever i click on these we can see that nothing really is different except Ah, here, here's the thing. So whenever I click on these, you can see over here in the instance properties that all of this, most of this doesn't matter, but here at the very bottom, it says defines origin, and that's checked off. If we hover over this, we can see it's a built-in parameter, and it literally does define the origin of it, whatever model you have here. And so we could model a chair or whatever it is way the heck out here, somewhere else completely random, but you generally don't want to do that just because it's kind of all oriented to this center point. And so you'll notice also if I come in here and create a reference plane, just wherever, it doesn't matter, and I click on this, we could see that uh, defines origin is not checked. So that's a very big indication as to where it is, which is, that's very helpful. Okay, so we're done with this 
kind of fill in basic family. Uh, so let's get back to our chair. And what we really care about, of course, is to work with the chair and to be able to see where that origin point is. So if I click on these reference planes, I can see over here at the left that defines origin is not checked. None of these are. Um, that one's not. This one is. Now this one's the center. And we that makes sense. We kind of know. And so if we look at the back, my guess is that this reference plane is as well. And so look, there it is. Yeah, defines origin is checked. So um, let's say we don't want to edit anything, but we want to move the origin in our family. Well, instead of having this point, and by point I mean uh, these two reference planes coming together, that intersection being where the origin is, I can, you know, not have this one define the origin, but maybe I want to move the origin to the front. So I can choose this one to define the origin. And so really nothing happens in here. But once we load this into my project, I can load this in there, I don't need to save it. I'll overwrite it. Yes, we can see this point hopefully move to the front. Well, actually the whole thing moved. <laughs> actually, whenever I highlight it, there's subtly a point in there. And so there's our point from Dynamo populating. And so literally the chair moved back because the point doesn't move or like the, the place in which you have the chair placed doesn't move but because the chair moved within the family that point didn't move but the chair moved so whenever we loaded back in the chair ended up moving so maybe we do want to actually center it well let's edit this again of course come into my reference plane or my reference level and we need to actually add a reference plane at this point. And so let's go to reference plane and it doesn't really matter where. So that's not centered, but I want to make sure it is. So all I have to do come in here is make sure that I have this equaled out right there. So that's simple. So this is no matter the depth, this will always be in the center. Easy, very easy. And so at this point, I can go ahead and just make this define the origin. And so if I click on this one, no longer origin. If I click on this one, also no longer origin. It kind of takes care of the fact that you've updated it. But this vertical is still defining the origin. And so whenever I load this back in, I should again see that the chair moves, not because I moved the chair, but because the origin moved. Let's overwrite this. And sure enough, the chair does move, and that point is now within the center. And whenever I rotate it, I get it's perfectly centered. It's rotating about the center of the chair as opposed to the back. So obviously, hopefully at this point, you can see why this might be helpful, why this might be useful. And, you know, obviously if you don't need to use it, you know, nine times out of 10, you're not going to need to do that. A lot of these things are going to be based on um, the fact that it was built in the center of the object and it makes the most sense. So like this whole bottle is a unit. And so you could see the base point is right there. Now there might be a world where I want that base point to be like actually back here at the corner. And maybe that's because of how I want to array, how I want to rotate, bringing it into dynamo, anything. There's all kinds of reasons. And it might be that I want to float it out here, you know, have it be a certain distance. But I don't know. There's a ton of reasons that you might want to do that. Okay. So we've looked at this and we've looked at it in plan, but you know, these origin points are also three dimensional. Like it's not just an X, Y plane. We have the Z. So what do we do? Well, let's go ahead and cut a section here. Again, we're going to work with this exact same chair. And I want to make sure that this section is, I'm actually going to see the chair in the section. So let's go to this section and we can see that uh, we've got all of our points and they're actually updated. So if we come back to dynamo, we can see that, you know, sure enough, it's even updated this per the section view. It's again, it's the current view. It's pulling in the current view elements, which is still all of them in my section view and then populating those points which is great. You know, I can see it here. It doesn't do a lot here, even though it's kind of cool to see it. Uh, but what we care about is here. And so particularly the chair, if I zoom in on the chair, I can see that there here at the very bottom, which makes sense. It's kind of on the ground level there. Um, that that's where it is. And so maybe, maybe we want to change that. Well, let's again, go back into the chair. Maybe we want the origin to be above the chair or for any reason, maybe it's not a chair family. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. And so instead of going to my reference view, I'm going to go to my front elevation. And so we can start clicking in all these reference planes and seeing which ones define the origin. And obviously it's going to be in the center. So it's probably this one. Yeah, there's this one in the center. And then obviously it's probably none of these because it's on the ground. So if I click that one, sure enough, it's on the ground. So maybe I don't know why you'd want to do this, but I'm showing you how we can do this in 3D. Maybe we want to actually make this one define the origin. And so the point technically would be right here. 
at the top of the chair. Okay. My guess is now that the chair will physically move up. Remember, we saw it move in plan, and it's all based on where the origin is. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm not necessarily recommend doing this, but there are reasons that you might want to do this depending on how you're manipulating things. So the chair actually didn't move up, which was kind of nice. But we can see that my origin for the chair is now actually up. And that's because it actually happens to be hosted to the floor, which is good. And there's no offsets or anything. If I add a foot offset, it's going to work well. And even that, that point moved up. So this I like this a lot because there might be times where you need to manipulate families, specifically in Dynamo, or maybe not even just in Dynamo, but especially within Dynamo because these points come with a family kind of baked in, and, and the fact that you can move them around is really helpful. Uh, even in 3D is really helpful because we might be dealing with something that's more than just a 2D chair or you know something like that. But the fact that the chair obviously hosted the floor, stays on the floor, is really helpful. We have this point because we've literally moved the origin within the family and now we have control over that point and can do whatever we want with that point in dynamo or whatever else which it's really nice now obviously you don't see this without dynamo you don't know where it is without looking at the family but uh, it is good to know that you can go in there and change it for whatever reason you might want to so yeah we've looked at this both in plan and in section which means we've covered all of our three dimensions which is really cool uh, we're able to move this origin point from in any family wherever we want it could be floating off into space you can just uh, we'll go ahead and show that we can literally go into plan reference plane and we can literally come in here and just draw a couple of, of planes out here and i'm just going to make this the new origin point and have them both define the origin okay this doesn't impact the family at all nothing changes but of course we need to make sure that we uncheck these as defines origin and make sure that we still see these as defining the origin we would load this in and we'll see, probably see it move in plan. Yeah, it did move a bit, which is kind of interesting where it is now. It's almost like it's defaulted back to a different location. So if we look at this, we can see that none of these define the origin. Nothing here does, nothing there, um, but it is still these. And so this is something to be aware of. Um, you will need to use some of these built-in reference planes. If you remember the, bringing up the generic family, generic model family, we came in with those two reference planes, both in the X and Y direction. Uh, you'll have to use one of those as a way of defining the origin because they're built into the family. Now, you can place the family wherever you want. It's not like you're locked into that, but you can't just have it float off into space. So we, we do want this to be the defining uh, origin. We do want this to define the origin, these center points and these center planes. And just kind of know you, you have to work with those, but you can always make new ones and you can move it about those reference planes, which is really nice. And so whenever I load this back in, it's going to be back within the center. And then we ought to be good to go. Loading this back up, and there it is. It's in the center. It's getting reported from Dynamo that that is the origin point in the center. So that will do it for this video. I hope you found some value out of this because there might be a time where you need to move the origin point, And it's very simple to do within the family. So let me know if you have any comments, questions. Leave those down below. I will respond to all of them. Also, if you did happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. It really, really helps me out quite a lot. I appreciate that. Really do, really, really do. So that's it. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.